holes in the middle. <laughs> Test his balance. Yeah. Uh, so I am from Canada. It's okay to laugh. It's, uh, it's what heals me. Okay. This other guy was talking about God a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's not true. It's a, if God existed, I'd be I'd be fixed. But. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should keep your receipts. You know? Keep your receipts. Get a refund. No, it's uh, it's good to be here. I'm from Canada. And uh, as you guys can guess, uh, that is a long walk. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously I didn't walk, I jogged. <laughs> I don't have time to kill. I have things to do, places to be, right? I got to the airport, the skip hold, and they're like, hey, welcome to Amsterdam. Here's your bike. <laughs> and your weed. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> smoke it all in one place. They were like, did you know that for every person in Amsterdam, they have almost two bikes for every person? Oh. Which means I'm letting the country down, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it's good to be here. I, uh, I, uh, I've been doing a lot of walking to all these shows, right? You know, it's, uh, it's tough, you know? Uh, also, by the way, I heard I have like eight minutes up here, which I think means you guys get another like minute of jokes. And then uh, I get to struggle for like seven minutes to get off the stage. <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys, it doesn't take me that long to get off. Uh, 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 it's a bit personal, but hey, you know, sometimes you run out of batteries. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's, it's good to be here though. It's, uh, I, uh, I, I do a lot of walking to get up to all these places, obviously, yeah. You know, Holland, a lot of walking. Uh, but I, I realized recently I need more comfortable shoes, right? I, you know? So uh, I had to I had to walk, wear these like shoes that have these pink insoles in them, and uh, it was tough because you know one shoe in English says uh, memory foam, and the other shoe in French says uh, memoir douche, and I just think it's kind of harsh for my shoes to start calling me a douchebag at 6:35 in the morning. <laughs> I finished putting them on like 10.35, I figure at that point I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I was doing some uh, online dating, you know, uh, you know in this uh, w weird world. It's, uh, it's tough, you know, because, uh, well, you guys don't have the internet, no? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of profiles of it, they say things like, uh, I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> And hot yoga. <laughs> and that's not my thing. Like long walks are just you. You go from the TV to the couch. <laughs> grab the remote. And I struggle back. And hot yoga is you watch me struggle to put a pizza in the oven. <laughs> it's not a good time. <laughs> you guys were like, you guys were like what? Did she? Did she, did she did she look at you because you put hot yoga on your profile? <laughs> no. no, I was going to say, have we met before or not? <laughs> we probably should, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I have a dream! <laughs> One small step. <laughs> Unfortunately, my iPhone autocorrected the word uh, restaurant to uh, restraint. So, uh, you know, it was still pretty fun, you know? I enjoyed it, you know? She didn't as much, you know? But, but that's why I told the cops anyways. I think she enjoyed it, right? But uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy, I'm a big sports guy, if you can't tell. I'm really into soccer, that's my big thing. Only on the practice squad, though. <laughs> you know, but it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm big into sports, so I, I, I do uh, sports. I play a lot of wheelchair basketball. You know? Wheelchair basketball is kind of hard. You know, it's, it's, uh, 
pretty fun. It's like uh, able-bodied basketball, but instead uh, we only get to use like half our bodies. <laughs> so that makes it kind of a challenge. But uh, I like to like even out the playing field. I just like, uh, I flatten the other team's tires. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, I went to, uh, I went to London recently. Uh, I have this thing where like homeless people, they, uh, they always, they always ask me for money. And I'm like, uh, I don't have any money. I'm a comedian. <laughs> like, uh, the other day this guy in London was asking me for money and, uh, he was like, uh, do you have 40 pounds? And I was like, hey man, I don't even weigh 40 pounds. <laughs> I can barely feed myself and you. Like, this is gonna work. Um, I feel like at this point you guys are wanting like something like super inspirational or something. You guys want to know what happened, obviously. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, uh, to be honest with you, like uh, I, I stepped on Lego. And I've just been milking that shit for like 29 years. <laughs> I, uh, I just don't want the government to find out, okay? <laughs> We're all gonna say that it's all cool, you know? But after this show, I'm gonna walk off the stage without crutches and I'll be magically healed, so it'll be good, you know? Uh, no, it's okay, I, I get to swim back after this show. <laughs> um, but I, I, you know, I, I do enjoy sports. I'm a big sports guy. Uh, I, uh, you know, uh, I, I have dated, you know, in the past, and, uh, you know, me and my, uh, me and my ex, we, uh, she used to love, like, wrestling in bed, uh, but then she hated when I hit her with a chair, <laughs> and, like, uh, I think that's a double standard, uh, but I also don't think it helps it's a wheelchair, like, uh, <laughs> Telling me I should take the brakes off? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and some of you, you were still looking at me, you know, like, you're like, oh man, this kid should have drank some more milk. <laughs> I agree with you. I think it's like 2% milk and 98% lies. Just force fed lies in the form of lactose for the first, like, uh, you know, 29 years of my life. It's okay, though. You know? I actually found out recently, I went to the doctor and I, I found out I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, yeah, that sucks, you know, because, uh, you know, I love cereal, so now I have to smoke all my shreddies in the morning. <laughs> Just get high on life, you know? And it's weird because, I, you know, the doctor always says, you know, you gotta, you know, Nick, you gotta drink a glass of milk, eat an apple, stay away from you, you freak, you know? <laughs> yeah, you gotta drink some more milk, but you know, you can't bring milk on a plane, right? Which is really weird, uh, right? So it's, it's kind of hard to explain to like the security why you got uh, 10 ounces of powdered milk up your ass. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> but I've been selling that shit here in Amsterdam and making my money back slowly, so even if you guys don't donate to the show, I'm still living my dream. So. <laughs> But I'll make you feel bad. Uh, no, uh, it's good. No, uh, some of you probably wondered though, like, uh, uh, there, there's some people though that have like what's called uh, like a hidden disability that you can't really see. Uh, like for example, with me. Oh yeah, finish your sentence, man. What do you got? Guys, we all can hear you. <laughs> oh, and he smells. <laughs> Yo, is the MC on his phone right now? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh shit. Uh, Over time? Okay, cool. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Well, uh, you know, some people have what's called like a hidden disability. So uh, for me, like, you can you can hardly tell that uh, I have AIDS. <laughs> but uh, just just discreet, you know, a little bit, just just a little touch to keep people honest, you know. <laughs> I uh, I don't put that on the dating profile, but if you're interested in getting to know me, it's something, you know. Hey, it's alright. Uh, no, it's uh, I uh, I'm fun though. I I, I uh, a couple of years ago, you know, uh, the uh, I was a torchbearer for the Olympics in uh, in Vancouver, like, I don't know, ten years ago or something, which is cool. It was it was cool, but uh, you know, just imagine uh, telling a guy with crutches. Uh, to start running 400 meters, right? It was kind of terrifying for me, but, and like halfway through, I, I kind of lost grip on, on this torch and uh, it started dangling between my legs. And uh, I don't want to get too graphic, but I will say, uh, 
You know, uh, have you guys ever heard about that Christmas song that talks about uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was traumatizing for me. It was, it was good, um, I, uh, during COVID was weird, you know, I, I was looking for work a lot, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I, uh, <laughs> the one thing I wanted to do for a long time, you know, uh, I, I wanted to go to a lot of garage sales and uh, ask for, you know, what I've always wanted to ask, which is, uh, so how much for your garage? <laughs> uh, at which point they told me, uh, this is not a garage sale, this is a yard sale. Uh, so I asked, uh, so how much for your yard? <laughs> uh, and then they called the cops. But I think the joke's on them, because uh, due to COVID, this lady had to sell her house. And uh, me, me and a few of the comics, we, uh, we all went in 20 bucks on the garage, right? So next week, I'm moving into a heated garage. <laughs> So, the joke's on you guys. <laughs> uh, if you want to see any more of my comedy, I am on uh, Pornhub. <laughs> Alright, that's my time, you guys. Yo, what's up, it's my dick. That's the funniest comedian since Noah Gomez. Keep going for Nick. That was a funny man. It was a very funny man. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> well, our next comedian. Oh, I'll give us some time. He's uh, excited. He's excited to perform tonight. It's his third time doing comedy before. He is from Africa. <laughs> Who else here is African? Oh, me! Uh, yeah? Where are you from, in Africa? South Africa. Oh, we have South African comedians. Where are you from, South Africa? 